this video, I'm going to be ranking the Straw Hat Pirates in order of importance. Now I'm going to clear up, this is not a list of who I like more or who is better. This is about who is more important than who. So how important they are pretty much. So yeah, let's start off with number one, who is pretty obvious in my opinion. Monkey D. Luffy. Straw Hat Luffy. A pirate with a bounty of 500 million. Okay, Luffy number one, obviously, because he's captain. You can't have a pirate crew without a captain. That is why Luffy's number one. I'm not even going to go into detail with him. Coming in at number two is Nico Robin. Now you're all probably thinking, why Robin? Well, Robin is the only person who can read and dissect the crypt, <laughs> the road poneglyph. Without Robin, Luffy cannot attain the One Piece because you need to you know, read the road poneglyph to get the information that you need to put together a map that will take you to Raptel. So no Robin, no One Piece. That simple. There's no one else that can do it, but she's the only one that can read the road poneglyph that is alive on the planet, making her, in my opinion, the second most important straw hat. Coming in number three is Nami. Now, a lot of people may disagree with this, disagree with this, but just hear me out, guys, hear me out. Nami is the only one who can actually navigate to the locations Robin presents to the crew using the map. So, so Robin can get all the necessary information, but the, only, but the one that has to take them there is Nami. Because get a map, making a map of how to get there is no big deal. Any, a lot of people can do that if you're given the information from the Ponoglet. But the actual process of navigating the sea, only Nami can do that. Yeah, coming at number four is Black Leg Sanji or Vin Smoke Sanji. Now, Sanji is incredibly important just due to the amount of food Luffy eats. There aren't many cooks who could cook enough food to feed Luffy. They need Sanji to feed the crew. Without a cook, they would starve to death. So yeah, Sanji is just that. Just that one kind of obvious Sanji because without a cook, you would starve to death. So yeah. Coming at number five is Chopper, because the crew is always getting involved in an intense, dangerous battle where they're always getting super injured and being on the verge of death. If nobody is there to, you know, fix you up and like, you know, tend to your injury when you get injured in a battle, you're going to die. There are plenty of times where if Luffy had not been seen and fixed up by Chopper, he probably would have bled to death or died in some way. So yeah, Chopper is obviously important. Number six is Frankie. When you need a ship right. Frankie is a ship right. So if a ship, if there's nobody there to fix the ship, it's eventually going to break down and everybody on it is going to sink. Because you can't just go around and get new ships all the time. I mean, eventually the ship will sink. That's what people need to understand that Frankie, even though in combat he doesn't do much, like the people above him, that doesn't matter. His role is to make sure the thousand sunny does not sink. If a ship, if a ship does not get repaired, it will slowly decay and fall apart, and eventually it would break, and everybody on board would drown. So yeah, Frankie's very important. So yeah, coming at number seven is I'm pretty sure most of you guessed it. Rowan Zoro. This just because you you need somebody that is strong enough to stand there with the captain. Zoro's role is pretty much one of the first mate. So we keep Luffy in check, but his job is also just to help out her on the ship, like, he does things like yell with an anchor. He is the muscle of the crew. For things that require a tremendous amount of muscle, they go to Zoro. Zoro is also the very, like, the strong guy. He's the guy that will stand next to Luffy in combat against all the very powerful opponents. That's his role. That's his job. So, yeah, Zoro at number seven. Coming at number eight is Usopp. The the sharpshooter, the sniper. Now, Usopp is incredibly important because there are times, be it they're kind of rare, but there are times when they need somebody who can shoot an enemy from a far distance. Distance. I can name two examples off the top of my head. Dressrosa and any lobby. Both times the skill of a sniper was 100% necessary. So Usopp is obviously very important because he can take people out from a far distance he, so he can also take out large groups of weak characters at the same time from a far distance. That's Usopp's thing. That's Sniper. That's just, that's important. You need him. And I'll uh, number nine is Brooke. 
last but not least, Brooke. I mean, let's be honest, Brooke is not. Brooke is powerful and he's youthful, don't get me wrong, but his role is to play music. He's a musician. He plays music, and I honestly don't think Brooke is needed, personally. I actually did a video that I will link in the description box down below on whether or not Brooke's introduction was even necessary at all. I don't think it was. Honestly, Brooke is just. He did the straw hat that is. You, he went the straw hat that is very useful, but you took him out of the equation, then he could easily be replaced with somebody else. Like, you could replace Brooke. You can't replace Zoro, Frankie, Chopper, Sanji, Nami, Robin. They, they all have skills that are integral to the crew. Their skills are very important, and they're great at them. And you need those great skills. You don't need a good musician. You don't need somebody who can be good at singing. You don't need that. Is it beneficial to morale? Yes. But the Straw Hats always had good morale. Brooke joined just because Oda wanted a musician. And Luffy wanted a musician. But yeah, I think Brooke is just the least important Straw Hat, honestly. But tell me your thoughts in the comments section down below on who the most important Straw Hats are. In order, one being the most important, nine being the least important. Tell me who yours are in the comments. I'm very interested to hear. Do you think my list is complete bullshit and I'm an idiot? If you do, please tell me. I'd love to hear your argument for that. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.